Alright guys, so I'm working on this power supply that I got. It's coming together really well. You can see I've got most of the parts on there. I've got some resistors to put back on, some resistors to put on. And that and then I need to peel the all this off there so I'm working on it all right guys so I've got the um, all the resistors on and this is a really high quality board the traces are really nice it's got, it has these lights on it. I don't know what they're for. I don't, I didn't even know what they're for. Um, I still have to put on the heat sink. The heat sink and the main, the main thing here, the LM. LM317, the main. Uh, transistor and it also has of course it has I wonder what this is for oh is this for the to control the voltage or to control the LCD or the yeah, LCD the um, segment 8 things so that let's see if we can get that in there focused focus there focus I just painted my nails and then I'm destroying them by having to do this and then peeling off this stuff is going to destroy the nails and then I got to work tomorrow so I want to have nice nails, you guys. I want to have nice nails, but oh well. I'll try. Okay, so I'll do another update when I get closer. So, we have everything in there. I got the cord. Sorry about the mess. I got the cord. Little transformer. Um, no polarization, of course, on those. There's the diodes for it to rectify the signal. And that, if you notice before, this had leads on it. The um, voltage thing had leads on it. And I just, it just wanted you to cut them off. And then just put it on there flush with the board. So that's what I did. And then put that in there. And oh yeah, I want to show I want to try to make how oh, kind of I gotta add some more light. Ugh. Okay, so you can see this is all that it came with for the instructions. So you you sometimes you really have to know what you're doing. The board had a lot of labels on it. So there was just the resistors in there. And then all the diodes. Then of course that guy. And it just says the the instructions are so just so very basic. And it's funny. Look how they write this. The red the red line of the transformer shall connect the power source of 200 volts or whatever. 
and then it says protect the welded power line with heat strength. It's kind of funny the way they, the kind of funny the way they um, word things. Okay, so I the next step. You're staying with me. Sorry, I don't have a really great workstation here. Look at the mess that I live in. It's my fault because I don't have. I need a whole like laboratory to organize all these electronics. That's all basically electronics. Oh, and I got all these from uh, on Amazon. Like really cheap, you guys. Really cheap. All these three different sizes on Amazon. Super cheap. And then I got some battery holders too. Um, so, so we're working on the power supply. And somehow I accidentally ordered two of them because this is the way, this is my life, you guys. This is my life. Where's the other one? Oh my gosh, I lost it already. I lost it already. Oh, yeah, here it is. Yeah, so somehow I must have hit two on the so I must have hit two on the button I don't know how that happened unless they just picked just gave me two of them for the price of one I doubt that happened um so that's what it is that's how it comes so with the power supply, of course, you can always use two of them. So let's, I'm going to take these, this off and try to put it together with the box. Take these um, paper. I don't know what type of paper you would call that. I don't know what the technical term is for this paper that's on. I already started one of them. Anyone that has is familiar with these things. But and, and, and it's going to mess up my nails. They're already good. I just did these nails. I just did these. I just did these and look at them. That's why I don't bother with trying to look trying to look pretty <laughs> okay all right hold on we'll get we'll get the next segment here so here's the progress on the voltage regulator voltage power supply it when you're putting it together on in the case it's go ahead and put the stuff it seems it, it seems logical to just put it on the this um you want to find this one piece and put the parts on it and then build around it i was trying to, earlier i was trying to like make the box and and kind of put it together um like a a different way but it's a lot easier if you just find that one the bottom piece and then attach everything to it saying that out loud sounds so logical but it doesn't really say in there and if you just start grabbing the pieces and putting it together it um you waste time with it so that's how I did the heat shrink on there and it has little spacers right there there's six of them four on the board and two on the transformer this is a nice little kit and it the it just seems like it has a a lot of quality to it um for the 
as cheap as it is, I'm I'm pretty impressed with with it, but I haven't powered it up and it's not done. So we're still working on it. Um, I, I like all the, the lights and stuff. It's good to have feedback on any type of power supply or anything like that. So we'll see what happens next. All right, I've got it all made in the box and plugged in and it works that is so cool so it looks like the lights that they have might be the um, current lights or so it has a little so you can set the voltage all the way up to 14.6 volts Wow, that light is really, that blue light is really bright. There are 14.6 volts. Here's the output right there. Well, yeah. Um, yeah, so that is really awesome. I want to hook up. Of course, I want to hook up the, um, I want to hook up my, um, voltmeter to it, and, and it looks like there's a calibration thing in there, so you can stick it, stick this right in there. This is built really nice, you guys. They've got, um, enough space for all the outputs, and then you can put this, the screwdriver in. And then to calibrate it, it looks like you can see that it just has the um, hole exactly where it's supposed to be. And this box is nice. It has, you can, it's the way they start to make all these new ones now is it has like, whether it's metal screws or plastic screws, it's always like it. It's this is the way that um, a lot of these kits come, where it has that you put the screw, you put the bolt in, and then put the screw in, uh, or put the bolt in and then you screw it in. It's kind uh -huh. of. Let me see. Yeah, you can see it right there. You can see all of them. And the the way I was doing it was just using gravity to kind of let it fall and then let it get in there and then hold it and then use the screwdriver. So it was fun to put together. It didn't take that long. And for the cost of it, and, and what it looks like it has the potential to do, I don't know how much current it can deliver, but uh, this is really a nice little kit. It comes with a little, the plug and the transformer. Again, I don't know what the current, it doesn't even say on the thing, does it say? Let's see. Mm, yeah, it probably says on the, um, when you buy it, I'm guessing it's just 500 milliamps or 750, something like that. But we can always measure measure it out, measure the current coming in. I will make a video about that. Okay, guys, it's Sadie, and I want to show you the finished product of this this voltage regulator, adjustable voltage regulator kit. For some reason, I accidentally ordered two of them 
So here's what it looks like all together in the box from Amazon. It was pretty cheap, but you can see it has all the parts and it has the case in there. And it's um, just a little voltage regulator and it goes up to 14.4 volts. I do not know how much current it supplies, but not too much. You can tell by how big the transformer is that it doesn't supply that much current. But what's really cool about it is I like see-through things, I like clear things, and it's adjustable, and it's got the, the um, readout right there. So here's a little buzzer. the buzzer real low. And then we can put a light on there. Here's a, a multicolored LED light. The long lead is usually the positive. So we can do this. And then this light seems to be, I think it's, it doesn't really go in a, the, I think the pattern of what it does is, is voltage controlled. So it's a pretty cool light. And of course that's on my, um, the other kit that I made right here that I could show you real quick. So this is. This is the, this is it finally made. I wanted to at least show you guys that. But here's the other kit that I made this star that's really, I really like this one. But that is one of those lights on there. So you could turn the sound off, turn the sound on, and it has a couple different songs that it'll play. It's pretty, pretty cool for what it is. This this one was easy to put together. And um, I got this, this one off Amazon, too. It looks like it runs off of a, um, I want to say USB. It's like the USB-A plug, the rectangular one. It's usually a lot louder, but the... Um, the batteries are kind of wearing down. <sighs> that is, and so you can turn off the sound if you didn't want the sound on there. Um, so that's the other project, but back to this. It does have these lights in there, and I don't know what they do. And then it has three other um, posts there, and I, I'm not sure what they do, what they're for. Uh, these things don't come with much instructions. So we can, let's try to put, um, let's go ahead and we can hook up the, this is from Electronic Goldmine. But this is just a strobe light. So this one, you could turn up. And you could see the voltage going 
changing with that as it um, as it reaches as it charges up the capacitor towards the top end of it it draws less current and then the voltage goes up on this but I'll make a, a video where I take apart this this thing and explore I've already taken apart one of them but that is a very bright that's incredibly bright. Oh, let's turn off the light. Yeah, let's turn off the lights. Alright, so that is...